Hey everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of A View from Tracy's Point, and we are back for part four of these, e I keep saying emails, guys, for some reason, <laughs> for the reading of these text messages between Azriel, Alice, and occasionally the assistant for Mr. Kelly. And for those of you who are just now getting on this video and wondering what I'm talking about, um, in the case of Robert Sylvester Kelly, or the Eastern District of New York versus Robert Sylvester Kelly, um, one of the theories was that Azriel Clary, who was one of his quote unquote alleged victims, um, people had been saying for some time that the parents had groomed her and told her to lie about her age and put her in the presence of Mr. Kelly. Um, Azriel and Jocelyn Savage, who was another girlfriend of Mr. Kelly's, they went on the Gail King show and, well, not the Gail King show, the CBS morning show. And they did that back in 2019. It was a very emotional interview. Um, it ended up being memes about Mr. Kelly instead of focusing on what the young women were saying had taken place. They focused on Mr. Kelly having an emotional outburst and it turned into a bunch of memes and all of that stuff. And so now in hindsight that uh, Mr. Kelly was convicted, sentenced to 30 years in prison in the Eastern District of New York, he's now appealing the case. And a part of his appeal is these these text messages between Azriel and her mom, which pretty much supports what Azriel said the first time she appeared on the Gail King show back in 2019. And I think it was like March of 2019 when they had this interview. And so we are on the text messages started back in April, like April 20th or something like that. It's now May 3rd, and this is where we're picking up at. Um, in the last text messages, we learned that Azriel, at the age of 17, was allowed to go to California to, I guess, attend some of Mr. Kelly's concerts to see what it was like to be on tour. She then left California and went to Las Vegas. All of this with her parents' permission, like just put their child out there by herself. And so these text messages are going back and forth where the mom is telling her how to behave, how to act, how to, what to say to Mr. Kelly, how to seduce him. The mother goes back and forth between whether she, Azrael should be trying pro, to promote her music or whether she should be trying to seduce him or whether she should be doing both of these things. So it is just a really, really crazy, crazy situation. But we're going to go ahead and jump back into this after this brief commercial break. At some point in time, I've met Alice, but until I met these crazy text messages, she got caught up in a situation that I completely blame her husband for. You have to understand what the Clarence did was wrong. Okay, and as you can see, that brief commercial break was brought to us by none other than Tim Savage, who is the father of Jocelyn Savage, and he and his wife, Jonjolyn, were on a similar trip as Alice and Angelo Clary, um, stating that they did not push their child towards Mr. Kelly, that it wasn't their intention for um, Mr. Kelly to date their daughters, but instead for him to give them some type of mentoring for their music careers. But as we know from that Gail King interview, Mr. Kelly said neither one of these chicks could seem good enough to be trying to have no musical career, but they were pretty, okay? So he decided to keep them as his girlfriends. So, you know, I'd like to go back and backtrack a little bit from the previous conversation. And so when we ended 
yesterday, Azrael was talking with the assistant for Mr. Kelly, who is booking her travel. And the assistant was reaching out to Azrael saying that she had um, awful phone reception and that she had left cab fare for $20 at the, oh, you know what, actually, I take that back. I think I went more into the May 3rd conversation, which made me go over like 17 minutes on the last video. Okay, we left off where Azrael is now in Las Vegas. There's a fight, a boxing match that's taking place and Azrael has been told to come but then they find out, or Azrael believes that they are checking ID at this location. And then her ID would show that she's not 18 as they have been lying to Mr. Kelly. And so Alice is telling her to tell, to call Mr. Kelly and say that she's sick. She doesn't feel well. And so she's not going to be able to make it. Okay. So we're going to pick up with Azriel responding to her mom who told her to tell him that she was sick and she says what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and then she has a bunch of emojis and then mom replies I don't think you would need to show ID because you're his guest and Azriel says laughing my ass off I guess and then she asks her mom why you up then she texts the assistant and says, I've safely landed, waiting on a taxi to get to the hotel now. This wait is like an hour for taxis, oh my God. So then Alice says, didn't watch the fight. Your father made me mad, talking shit after I cleaned before everyone came. You know how he liked to show off round people so I was in my room he got mad because I didn't come back downstairs I fell asleep so now I'm awake and so this is May 3rd at 3 o'clock in the morning that they're having this text conversation and remember that's eastern time because Azrael is on the west coast where it is now about midnight so then Azrael um, texts her mom and said who all came and wow, that's crazy. Don't worry, me and Kells missed it too. Well, now you can talk to me. So then mom says, Denny, Mr. Angelo, Dennis, his friend, Vic, Miss Nikki, and Maurice. So Azrael says, oh, well, now you can talk to me, boo. And she gives some emojis. He left me room service to order whatever I want. Guess he figured I was hungry. Alice, what you gonna do about tomorrow? I think she's saying tomorrow. She has T-O-M-M. Azriel, I don't know, shaking my head. Leave my ID and not mention it. I can't drink regardless. So, as Alice, so you at your room? Azriel, nope waiting for the driver alice so where he at he missed the flight too <laughs> asriel yeah he driving here alice he's still on the road i told you traffic would be terrible he probably stopped somewhere and watched it i heard floyd won asriel yeah he did win and i don't know i texted him and said dang we missing the fight he said, well, just watch the headlights. <laughs> Damn. So then Alice said, so did y'all kiss you? You mean highlights. And then Azrael said, uh, we might tonight, but what happens in Vegas, baby, stays in Vegas. And there was a bunch of emojis. Alice, yeah, your father, petty ass, didn't even wake me for the fight. Dang, Angelo, you had to clean the house and cook for your friends and then you didn't even tell her, come on, baby, come on downstairs. So laugh out loud. That's why you keep saying that. Yeah, he was trying to get some when he was wrestling oldest trick in the book, laugh out loud. Well, I hope don't nothing happen. Steve Harvey say make them wait at least three months. Um, they will respect you. How are you going to feel going from lavish lifestyle to normal? 
as real. I know, and I'm going to feel sad to be honest. I'm going to just work harder. I'm right across from the pyramid, Alice. You said he got three phones? Azria, yeah, I know, Alice. So now he will have four. I'm tripping that didn't make sense. So how you like your room? Do you have Stewie's song on your phone? Y'all do it? I didn't even eat. And so when she's talking about Stewie, Stewie is someone that Azriel has made a song with that Alice keeps trying to get her to play for Mr. Kelly. So Azriel responds, how will he have four and go eat? I'm on my way to my room, Alice. He won't, he won't. I was having a blonde moment, laugh out loud. Um, tonight and the last few weeks, I've been thinking hard. Just watch it. Just watch this move. This movie mess me up because I'm conning. I think she meant coming, coming, coming to realize I need to make some changes. I always said when you start college, I would leave. I only shook. I think she meant stuck, stuck around because of y'all. So you were the last one. I had to worry about, thought I was going to have to take care of Avion, but that's not an issue. So, and I believe Avion is Isis' son. Is Yeah, I think it's one of the grandchildren. So, child, Alice in a talking mood at 3.30 in the morning. So, she says, I got to do me. I've been taking bullshit for too long. And then she had about 100 emojis, okay? <laughs> like, she is fed up with Angelo. Um, I've been unhappy, sexually frustrated, depressed, mistreated, cheated on, and abused for years. Once you're out the house, it's no need to continue with the lie. Girl, she been out the house since 2015, and you still with this man. But in way I guess it's hard I guess your plan didn't work out so you didn't have no money so that you could leave um as Angelo and Angelo seems a little touch also so I'm not sure she might be in physically be being physically abused okay that's just my thought because why are you still with him girl so then she goes on and says I just want to be happy, never settle for less, and never settle for anyone beneath you or that will mistreat you. If a man treats you with respect and takes care of you is all that matters. Fuck that anyone else says or thinks. Never let any man take you to that unhappy place again. I'm not saying you won't be hurt by anyone because you will, but it will only make you stronger. So brush your ass off and keep it moving. Learn from what, learn it from what, learn from what. Okay, I must be tired. <laughs> learn from it what you must, but get back up there. There's always a new day. You can best believe the moon will shine every night and the sun will rise every day and set every evening. That child, you ain't never lied. Just don't take bullshit like me. He has told you a few good things. Loyalty and positivity is real, but love, you may have to wait on that when you get older. See, he older, so love is important to him. Love when your young gets Oh my God, love when you're young gets you a lot of headache. I guess she's saying falling in love when you're young is not worth it is what she's trying to say. So what's love when you fall head over heels in love with him and he really smitten with you but not able to reciprocate the love you have for him? All I'm saying is you have to guard your heart. Who took the pic? Are you even reading my text? Perfect. What type of mother is this? <laughs> oh my God. I just, oh, Ezreal was like, why is my mama telling me all this? Like, why she just sent me across the country and now she want to pour her heart out about how much she don't like my daddy. My daddy wasn't crap when you met him. My daddy was in jail when I was born. <laughs> like, lady, you had every opportunity 
to find a new love and to move on with your life when that man was locked up. Anyway, child. So Azrael says, I'm about to order. Laugh out loud. I'm sorry. I'm, wait, let me go back, y'all. I got so caught up in Alice's drama that the dang assistant didn't enter the picture, right? So let's go back. So Alice's last thing was, all I'm saying is you have to guard your heart. So now, he, and then she says, who took the pic? Are you even reading my text? So now the assistant has entered and she says, perfect. And what she's saying, perfect too. I guess Azrael then made it somewhere. So then Azrael says, I'm about to order, laugh out loud, I'm starving. The assistant says, yes, do order food and enjoy the night. And then Azrael says, thank you. So I think somewhere up in here um, between Alice going off about how she done wasted her life on Angelo, the assistant must have asked her had she made it to the hotel yet. So then the assistant says, hi, what would you like from McDonald's? Text me and I'll run out and get it for you. And that was at 426 Eastern time. So it was like 1.30 where they are. So Azrael responds, yay, a Big Mac, no tomatoes or pickles, medium fry. Do they have tomatoes on Big Macs? But anyway, haven't had one in probably 10 years. Uh, medium fry, fruit punch, Sprite, sweet and sour sauces, like three. Thank you, because the phones in the hotel aren't working. And then some emojis. Why the phone's not working? Ain't she at the Mandalay Bay and the phone's not working? So the assistant says, okay, got it. Um, then Azrael says, thank you, the assistant, no worries. And then Azrael responds to her mom and says, everyone having fun. And Kel said, do not leave that room. And then Alice says, that room is nice. I'm glad he makes you happy. That's all that matters. As long as you not hurting or thinking crazy, I'm okay with it. And it's good for you to have someone to talk to and that will listen to you and give you the truth even if even if it may not be what you want to hear. To be honest, that's all I ever tried to do, but you don't like listening to me laugh out loud. Bunch of emojis. And child, it's seven o'clock in the morning now in um in Orlando. So she goes on to say, I'm glad he not rushing or forcing you for that he gets. And then she has a bunch of emojis and then it looks like a peace sign that did come through because that shows he has a lot of patience. Patience is a virtue which many don't possess. I don't know what's going to happen with y'all, but I hope y'all remain friends so you can have someone to talk to. Uh, will you ruin that, Miss Alice? And so you know you may have to tell him the truth about your age because of tonight. show. Oh my God, laugh out loud. How come we've been up since 6 a.m. looking for your possum? Oh my God, Marquise jumped up screaming, saying it bit his hand. He threw it across the room and it ran under the bed. We can't find this motherfucker. This, he flipped the bed upside down. Oh my God, this shit is so damn funny. <laughs> okay, y'all. So it is now 8.46 a.m. on the East Coast. And Alice still talking. Um, you want to start a relationship on trust and honesty, build your foundation. Without that, you have nothing. It will not sustain. If he give you some money, go buy his CD and ask him to sign it. Buy the real one, not a bootleg before you leave him. He didn't do any videos yet for his songs. I would be trying to be in the next one. And then Azrael finally gets a word in at 12.54 and says, um, Oh my God, that's funny as fuck. I, nah, he hasn't had any videos. I'm sure if I ask, I'll come to his shoot 
And I will buy one of the CDs, laughing my ass off. And then she has, I guess, the laughing emojis. Alice, get him to sign it. He probably, so you used to, he probably, maybe she meant so used to, everybody asking him for a free one, he will be impressed. He like how you gonna make money if you give me one, the least I can do is buy one. Laugh out loud. Um, I love his song, Legs Shaking. Oh my God. Before you leave, do the CD thing and get gift card for McDonald's. Be like, every time you get nuggets, use this gift card and think of me. Laugh out loud. For the man that has everything but only wants McDonald nuggets, laugh out loud. So Azriel finally gets a word in at 107, and she says, "Laughing my ass off." I know. Then she has a bunch of emojis. Thank you. I like legs shaking too. So I guess that's why everybody was doing the um, leg shaking challenge okay remember nicole i would drop it in this video but i'll get a copyright strike but go to my shorts and you will see um nicole becker his former attorney um shaking her leg i think that's what she was doing in that thing but anyway alice says your father comes in getting on my dang nerves Azriel, laugh out loud i bet should have came with me would have been having fun Alice, excuse me, wasn't invited. Azriel, laughing my ass off. Well, if you would have made it like you wanted to, you could have. Alice, nah, no one made it that way. It's all good. Soon as I get this surgery, lose this weight, I will get me a celebrity too. Laugh out loud. Azriel, that's the way you gotta think. Alice, you talking to your dad? Azriel, yeah, I was. Alice, I got a mad headache. Azriel, take a nap. Then Alice says, nah, so what happened last night? Azriel, nothing. Alice, then she has a W and then a bunch of emojis. And if you're just now tuning into these videos, we don't know what the emojis are. It's just a diamond with a question mark in it. And um, that's coming up for all these emojis on this on this um, thing here. So anyway, Alice goes on to say, "You went, you went room by yourself. Y'all didn't hang out. Why he tell you not to leave room?" Azriel, I don't know. Just protective, I guess. Alice, so you didn't see him last night. So what y'all doing today? He probably getting ready. For show sure, you're not going right. Azriel, I don't know yet, to be honest. Alice, what you doing? So Azriel says, I don't know yet. It was 318. And then when Alice um, says, what you doing? It is now 422 on the East Coast. And Azriel responds, out the tub, bored. You haven't, and then Alice says, you haven't talked to him today? Azriel, yes, I have. Alice, oh, well, are you going to show what he say? Azriel, yeah, of course, but I don't know if I should. Alice, I thought you needed ID. Azriel, you do. That's why I said I don't know. Do you know where the closest mall is? Now, girl, you in... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. The, <laughs> the assistant then jumped in the, in the chat, okay? So... Azrael is asking the assistant, do you know where the closest mall is? Then we go back to Alice. Oh, okay, he may be mad if you don't show up. Then what you're going to do? And then the assistant replies, hi, yes, Fashion Show Mall, 3200 Las Vegas Boulevard, um, two point miles from the hotel. So then Azrael responds to the assistant, if I needed to get there, do you know how I would? I need to go to the mall, a McDonald's and a Western Union. And then Azrael responds to Alice and says, I know and I don't know to be honest. 
The assistant replies, okay, all those places are in the area, so let me arrange a car for you, otherwise by taxi, and the line is long for taxi rides. And then she asks um, Azrael what time. Azrael says, now or anytime soon, if possible. Then Azrael responds to her mom, Ma, can you Western Union me some money? Then the assistant replies, okay, stand by. Then Alice says, are you going to be able to get to store to get it? Azrael says, yes, going now. Where do I go? Alice replies, is there Walmarts where you are at? And then Azrael says, no, Ma, laughing my ass off. And then Alice says, give me a sec. Then Azrael responds to the assistant and says, all right, so I need to get money from a Western Union. Where could I possibly go? Then she replies to Azrael and says, okay. No, then she replies to Alice, I'm sorry, and says, okay. Then Alice, yes, it is. Azrael, um, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, Lord. Then Alice, the closest Walmart is McCarran Marketplace, 6005 South Eastern Avenue, Las Vegas. Or tell the driver to take you to the closest Walmart. Give me a second. I have to go to Walmart. <laughs> Maybe she meant the Walmart website, not the Walmart store. So Azrael says, okay, Alice, how much? And then, yeah, she meant Walmart because I think the Western Union is in Walmart. So Azrael lets her know she wants $100. Alice, what you need money for? Azrael, I need to buy some stuff from the mall. Alice, okay, so you haven't seen him today. Azrael, no, he said they a couple hours away. Okay, I'm kind of confused. So where? Okay, so they had the concert. And then I thought he told, so when he told Azrael to come to Las Vegas, he wasn't in Las Vegas. He was still in California and still has not made it to Las Vegas. So the concert where she said all eyes was on her was actually in California. Okay, I think I'm caught up now. In, my mind is catching up now. That they're supposed to be going to this fight and an after party, but Azrael don't know if she can get in because she is underage. Okay. So Azrael said, you know, he's a couple hours away. Alice, so he never left last night. He was still in Cali. Wow. Azrael. They did, but stop the night, stop last night, was there all night. And Ma, how much can you send me? 130? And then Alice says, oh, okay, she's catching on just like I'm catching on us. Mama's kind of slow, you know, with these, what's going on here. So then the assistant chimes in and says, not a single car company with limo service available until tomorrow. The only option is taxi and the line is long. So then Alice responds to Azrael and says, I'm going to send your money. Then the assistant says, I'm trying to figure it out. Mr. Kelly, okay with you going out of the room. It's very hectic out. Let's see. Then we have Alice. Telling Azrael, I gave you 50 when you left and put 40 to your stuff at Walmart. That's 85. It's not my pay week. I just brought your prom dress for 300. Your dad ain't put up shit and I have to get you tires and brakes. I have to come up with $1,500 for my surgery in two weeks. So I guess um, the Clarys wasn't balling like Angelo claimed that they were balling. And I can believe it because since we met Angelo, he done had about 50, 1100 jobs, okay? He always tried, rather than just going and getting a job, he always got some hustle going on, always trying to jump in on somebody else thing. So I'm not surprised that Alice is carrying this family. The burden is heavy on her. She is tired, y'all. And she is desperate to get out of this situation with Angelo. 
And so that is why she out here pimping her daughter out. And I do not condone that in any way. So now Azrael is responding to the assistant. She said, I didn't ask him. And if you can get it, it's fine. I'll just chill inside because the taxi lines are hectic. Thank you for your help. So then she says to Alice, never mind, I'm not going anymore, thank you. And then Alice has the um, emojis. I know you would have helped me. Then Alice replies, why, what's wrong? I'm on my way now. And then Azrael said, no, it's fine, thank you though. And I'm not leaving out. So now the assistant is texting Azriel and she says, oh, okay, yeah, we would need to make sure it's okay and it's just very hectic. I can get McDonald's to you, no problem. What would you like? Um, wow, really as, no, then um, Mama Dukes. <laughs> That's what she saved as an Azriel phone. So then Mama Dukes Alice says, Wow, really as I'm in route. I've been like, Mama, just go ahead and send the money. Now, for the people who are saying that, you know, him not wanting Azrael to leave the room and the assistant having to get permission for Azrael to leave the room mm -hmm. is showing how controlling he is. How controlling he is. But in fact, he is responsible for Azrael. Azrael's mother has sent her out there alone. She doesn't have anybody with her. She's a young woman. You know, he thinks she's 18, but we know she's 17. And so he's just ensuring her safety because what if something happens to one of these women and then all of a sudden, then it falls on him. The family be trying to sue him saying, you didn't protect our daughter. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. So I very much understand him, you know, telling her, don't leave that room. Make sure you let my assistant and me know where you are at all times. So let's see. So then the assistant says, oh, okay. Yeah, we would need to make sure it's okay. And it's just very, very hectic. I can get McDonald's to you, no problem. Oh, I was down here where Alice was saying that she was on her way to the Walmart to use the Western Union. So then the assistant, then Azrael says to the assistant, um, just chicken nuggets, fries, and sweet and sour sauce and a Sprite. Then she texts her mom and says, sorry, I thought I was going. Mr. Kelly doesn't want me out. Then the assistant replies, okay, got it. Then Azrael says to her mom, plus I can't get any chauffeur due to how busy it is. Then Azrael re responds to the assistant, thank you. I have a hundred dollar bill. Do you know if you can get change and buy a $50 gift card from McDonald's and I'll give you the $50 from my hundred dollars when you get to my room? And then the assistant says, okay, also you can order room service anytime you like if you want to try something different. Then Alice texts Azriel and says, oh, okay, well, did you eat? And then the assistant tells Azriel, did the phone get fixed yet? So Azriel responds to the assistant Responds to the assistant and says, yes, it did. And thank you. But their stuff doesn't really seem good. I don't want to order something I'm not used to and end up just wasting it. I'd rather spend $10 at McDonald's and be satisfied. And then she has a bunch of emojis. Then she tells her mom, yes. The assistant says, makes sense. Gotcha. And then Azrael responds to the assistant, thanks. And then she has some emojis. Then Alice um, texts Azrael and says, are you okay? And you shouldn't have to worry about tonight because you're his guest and you probably go in the back door. So you won't need ID. And if so, then act like you were rushing and must have left it. What time he getting there? Now it is the assistant texting Azrael saying, I'm at McDonald's, their system is down, so I'm going to wait it out, shouldn't be too long. Azrael says, all right, it's fine. 
and the assistant says, okay. And then Azrael, don't forget the gift card. And do you know where I could buy a CD by any chance? Or even if that do that, or even if that do that anymore. And maybe she meant, do they sell CDs anymore? Laugh out loud. So then she texts Alice and says, no, I'll go through the front. And I don't know, to be honest, Alice. Well, I'm going back in the house and taking a nap. My head killing me. Azriel, I'm taking a nap too. Alice, how do you download music to your phone? Azriel, hold the link and I'll say save to downloads and you can change the name and stuff and that's how. Alice, you remember our old address? Maybe you can ride there. How do you get to your old address, child? So then Azrael says, nope. And then she has some emojis, but Mr. Kelly probably doesn't want me leaving, laughing my ass off. And then Alice says, it opened in another window that said download. I'm talking about when y'all get together before you leave. And then here comes the assistant. What kind of CD? Yes, they do. It's still. And then she has a smiley face. And then Alice, um, I'm on the regular page. It says download or play then what? And then Azrael responds to the assistant, laughing my ass out, and R. Kelly CD. And then Alice says, never mind, I got it. Then the assistant. Okay, yes, Target, Walmart, Best Buy. Azriel, can you buy me 12 Play and Black Panties album? I thank you. Child, Azriel just out here giving orders to the assistant like she her maid or servant or something. Child, I thought they was about tired of her. So then she replies to her mom and says, okay, and she has multiple emojis. Then the assistant says, yes, after I drop the McDonald's, I'm going to the mall area. So, yes. Okay, well, why you can't take Azrael to the mall with you? She want to get out that hotel. So then Azrael says, thank you so much. The assistant, no problem. So then we have Alice. Real quick, what's that Kevin Gates song about the girl? Azriel posed to be in love. Alice, thanks. Make sure you do something nice for him since you leave tomorrow. I think you should sing him a song or write him a song. What type of mother is this? Oh Azriel, I know. My sound won't work. What's wrong? I'm going to restart my phone. And then Alice says, do you have you and Stewie's song? And then Azriel finally tells her no. And then the assistant says, good evening, Azrael. Okay, so now it's 9.38 at night, on, and we're still on May 3rd. So the assistant says, good evening, Azrael. Mr. Kelly has requested your presence at his show tonight. Your ticket will be under your door at 7.30 p.m. The show is at the House of Blues, located in your hotel near the casino area. Um, Mr. Kelly goes on at 10.30 p.m., Please arrive at 1010 to get seated promptly. Thank you. Also, please text me on your way down so that I'm available if you have any issues. Okay, guys, I might have to stop this shorter than an hour because my um, voice is starting to bother me. Okay, but I'm going to try and keep going. Um, she says, then Azrael says, I'll be leaving around 940. Then she texts her mom and says, I'm a cry. I'm finna shit in myself. Oh my God. And then the assistant says, 940, okay. Then Alice says, why? What's wrong? Just go down there if they ask for ID, fake like you looking for it while you're down there. Say you must have it left it in your room. Go back upstairs, act like you looking for it, then say you can't find it. You don't remember since your flight. But go at 10. 
which makes sense, Alice. She shouldn't go at 940 because that would give her too much time to go back upstairs, find the ID, and come back down. So, not that I'm encouraging this nonsense, but anyway. Alice said, go at 10, child. So then Azrael says, no, I'd rather go early with no one there. And then Alice says, earlier then when they say, so if he have to escort you down, it's enough time. I then when he come be crying and all upset and be apologizing that you're so sorry because you missed his show now you can't find your id and you leaving in the morning but put your id somewhere in that room on the floor or something so if he helped look y'all can y'all can find it asriel that's too much shaking my head i agree asriel <laughs> so alice no, it's not, girl. You better get with the program. You better stop taking shit for granted. That man just spent $20,000 or better on you. Ain't getting no coochie, and then you not at his show? That's disrespectful, a slap in the face. Really, you better do some crocodile tears. Do you take anything serious? Let me know what you decide to do. So then Azrael responds, I know, ugh. What type of mother is this? Oh my God. And here come the assistant. Okay, now it's 10.55 p.m. <laughs> okay, I keep forgetting this Eastern time. So it's 7.55 in Vegas. <clears throat> and so she says, change delivering tickets around 9 p.m. Then Azrael says, okay, do you know if I could get my luggage brought to me? And then the assistant says, let me ask. Azrael, thank you. I wanted to let you know I'm here. Okay, so now is 156, which would make it 10? No, yeah, 11, 12, 1. Which would make it like close to 11 o'clock there. So it's 1056 on the west coast so then the assistant says perfect the Nazarel says i should have come earlier and then the assistant says i'm sorry and then Azrael says it's fine okay so are y'all as confused as i am so let me go back up here. So Azrael says to the assistant, I wanted to let you know I'm here. And that was at 156, which would have been 1056 out there. Then the assistant says, perfect. Azrael says, I should have came earlier. The assistant says, I'm sorry. Then Azrael says, it's fine. And then she says to her mom, okay, so maybe she took Alice's advice to be late and not to get there too early because then they would go looking for the ID. So then she starts texting her mom and she says, I'm here laughing my ass off. You got to stand. Oh my God. And then she says, how HW doing good. And then she corrects herself and says, he's doing good. And then Alice says, well, you know, he doing good, laugh out loud, how you get in, what you wear. So you were in the back. And then Azrael replies, the guy checked my ID, laugh out loud, and my ripped pants. He said nothing tight because guys would be trying to holla and be drunk and smoking. Alice since you had to stand, how was your hair? Because he had your gel. You wore your jeans. Why you didn't wear your black one piece? Wow, they probably tried to holler with those too. Azrael, no, he told me not to. Alice, laugh out loud. Dude must couldn't count. Laugh out loud. God is good and on your side. He always got your back. Um, Alice... God prepared y'all for a moment like this where your butt was being exposed. Leave God out of your foolishness, okay? So 
So then Azrael responds, and laughing my ass off, they've tried to hit on me with my jeans. Alice, who is up at 318 texting her daughter. <laughs> 318 in the morning and Alex is and Alice is up. Where is Angelo when all of this texting is going on? Is he sitting there next to Alice? Is he out with one of these women that Alice claims he's cheating on her with? Like, what is going on? So she says, so you were in the bike since it was like a standing concert? Azriel, laughing my ass off. Yeah, Alice. He was probably mad because he wanted to see you because he couldn't see you. So you didn't see Lil' Kim. Dang, Azriel. It was amazing as always. Alice. Hello, Azriel. Nope. Now here come the assistant. Wait a minute. Let me go back because the assistant done interjected and I done missed it, child. And if y'all wondering why I keep getting missing the assistant talking is because imagine... Uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in landscape, meaning turned sideways. The person who is texting, the number that the text is either going to or coming from is on the far left side of the sheet of paper. And then the actual text messages are on the far right side of the paper. And so I get caught up in this conversation and forget to keep checking over on the other side to see who's talking. So let's go back. So Azrael said, laughing my ass off, yeah, about standing. Then Alice says, he was probably mad because he couldn't see you, so you didn't see Lil' Kim, dang. Then Azrael texts the assistant and said, it was amazing as always. Then Alice says, hello, then Azrael texts the assistant and said, I'm free to go to my room or do I need to wait around? And then Alice says, so what you doing? Azrael, I was in the front. He did the same thing as last time. Then Alice, wow, sung to you, laugh out loud. So then the assistant finally replies to Azrael and says, it was an awesome show. Text him and let him know you're headed back. Then Azrael texts her mom and said, Yahweh. Then Alice says, he didn't play. He a little, he don't play. He a little jealous. He don't want no one looking at you. I'm not sure if he could handle you being an artist. And then she has like 50 emojis. Alice, I don't think it's about jealousy sis I think the man know how men are he's responsible for your daughter and he just don't want no mess to jump off he don't want nobody like filling up on her rubbing up on her okay because I don't even think we got to the point where we about to be in a relationship okay <laughs> so Anyway, and I'm not naive enough to think that the man wasn't trying to get in Azrael draws, okay? But I think for the most part, the overprotectiveness is not about jealousy. It is about protecting her and making sure nothing happens to her. And then also his overall thing with these young women, and I've said this before in videos that I've done, I think a lot that what R, what R. Kelly does when it comes to these young women it's more about his past traumas, the trauma of the friend, the Lulu girl um, drowning and him not being able to help her. And then, you know, his whole molestation issues. And so that is what his protectiveness is about. I don't think it's about jealousy. I just think he's overprotective and, and see how these parents are just passing their daughter around and just letting their daughters be places that they ain't got no business being at the ages that they were and so part of it is the overprotectiveness and then the other part is the hypersexuality from he himself being molested and these two are just crashing with each other and then it doesn't help when you have people like Alice who is pushing pushing her daughter on this man so then Alice um, says, that worries me. And then Azrael responds, 
that's what I'm saying. I, I'm not supposed to be jealous, but he can. And then Alice replies, he seems like he would just want you to be his and nothing more. Yeah, you can't be jealous because it wouldn't work because he gonna be, he's going to do his thing. But that's messed up if he can't handle you being an artist. So where do that leave us? Because with the way he acts, he wouldn't want us having you perform. And if he don't, send, if he don't sign you, then ugh. <laughs> I felt that uh, Alice. So then Azrael replies, calm down. If I'm an artist, he has no choice. Alice, I was hoping as your manager, I would be making a paycheck. I can't continue to work for this bullshit ass money. <laughs> <laughs> Alice done threw a new monkey in the wrench, y'all. Alice said, I'm going to be the manager. I'm going to be getting paid hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to manage your career. He's just going to be writing the songs that you sing and letting you open up at his concerts and all that good stuff. <laughs> okay, so then um, Azrael says, why would you hang up? Oh, child. So then Alice says, but if he don't help you shit, we right where we started and I didn't. Your phone hung up on me. So he wanted you to wear his baggy ripped up jeans. Call me back. <laughs> so y'all now it's 3.38 in the morning, okay, of May 4th. And Alice is still on this phone. So that would be 12.38 on the West Coast. So, Azrael, no, he come the assistant. Azrael is texting the assistant and saying, hey, there's some guy that followed me and was trying to like sweet talk his way into my room. He was talking to a friend at first and then was trying to talk to me. I said nothing at all. I noticed him following behind me and then I acted like I was on the phone and the wrong floor. I turned back around and he followed me back down on the elevator. Okay, so now we got Alice. Okay, let me see where I was at because my daughter came in and I had to stop and talk to her. So let me go back up to where Azrael was talking about the guy following her in the elevator and she was telling the assistant and then, and once again, it's May 4th and 3.40 in the morning. And Alice says, wow, I think she's talking about the ripped jeans. And she says, go ahead, talk to your dad. Then the assistant responds to Azrael talking about, no, Azrael texts the assistant and says, do you know if there's somewhere I could hang out rather than in the casino? Plus, I am a little hungry. No, I'm back in the lobby. And then Alice texts and says, good morning. Hope you had fun. Then the then Azrael texts the assistant because he was following me so close talking. And I was like, okay, I am just act like I'm on the wrong floor. So I paused on the wall and just called my mom. And then he paused as well. And I walked back down the hallway and went on the elevator. It wouldn't close fast enough. And he got on with me. Well, I'm sure this was pretty scary for a 17 year old to be experiencing this. So then she texts her mom saying, I'm not talking to anyone. And just so you guys know, all these text messages are happening within seconds of each other. So it's not a long pause. So she's texting um, the assistant and she's texting her mom at the same time, back to back. And so then she gets a text message from the assistant saying, if you could go back to the room, I'll try to get food up to you. Now, why is the assistant not concerned that this girl is telling her that there is a man in this hotel that is following her and she's scared and concerned? I don't know. Maybe the assistant know who the man is. Maybe the person works for Mr. Kelly, child. Making sure that Azrael where she's supposed to be when she's supposed to be there. 
So then Azrael texts her mom and says, some guy was following me. That's why I called you, but you hung up shaking my head. Then she tells the assistants, I know, I just don't want anything to happen, shaking my head. Then the assistant replies, okay, do you need me to come walk you what up to your What type of mother home? is this? Oh my Why God. Why is anybody concerned about this child but me? Am I the only one concerned about Azriel here? Like, my God. So then Alice sends a text and said, no, then the assistant sends a text and says, would you like some pizza or... And then Azrael says, yes, I, oh my God, this guy is still on my floor, just walking up and down and pizza is fine. I'm in the lobby. Just let me know when you're in the lobby, where the elevators are so you can walk me. And then the assistant says, almost to the elevator. Azriel, all right, thank you. There's two more guys asking me to smoke weed too. I haven't said anything. I just turned away. So then Alice replies, I didn't hang your phone up. I didn't hang your phone hung up on me. And I kept trying to call you back. It was going to voicemail. You made it back to your room. And then Azriel says, hello. No, then Alice, hello, are you in your room? Azriel, yes, I'm in my room. Alice, okay, good night, talk to you later, glad you had a great night. Azriel, good night, and with a bunch of emojis. I need to start, I need to start doing something for me. Shy, you've been doing everything for you, we ain't seen nothing that you can do for anybody else since all this started. But anyway, now it is 12.35 on the East Coast, so it's 9.35 on the west coast and the assistant is sending Azrael a text that says morning i've extended your room for one more night if you leave your room you will need to stop by the desk to get new room keys so child they just want Azrael to sit up there in their room by herself so Azrael texts her mom and says hi mom good morning and then four emojis don't beat yourself up. You just have to start actually doing for you, taking away $20, $10, and $5 from your paycheck every time and put it aside. So when you want to just treat yourself to the spa or skating, anything, you can just go. And Manny told me they found the possum. I knew he'd come when he got hungry. Laugh out loud. So then she texts the assistant, thank you, Mr. Kelly wants me to go to the mall today. Do you know if there's a way you could get my luggage to me or no? And then the assistant replies, I can book a car for your mall visit. I'll check regarding your luggage. I have a flight, so I'll have the info to you shortly. Your room has been extended. And then Azrael replies, thank you, and all right, when I leave for the mall, I'll go get the new keys. So then Alice replies at 1.17 p.m., yeah, how was last night? When you leaving? Azrael says, awesome, and tomorrow, we going shopping today. The assistant replies, okay. To their earlier um, dialogue and then Alice says you're going to miss two more days of school now not this child out here not even going to school mm, mm, mm. so Alice continues let him know he need to get your get you a doctor slip you you I think she meant me you may I mean may you may get dropped from school Azriel, I'll be back just in time. And how he gonna get me a slip <laughs> right <laughs> with you, Azriel? Then Alice replies, he know doctors shoot. How you miss today and you're gonna be jet lagged for tomorrow. What was so awesome? Anyway, it was a joke, but the doctor slip, I was being sarcastic. Azria, oh, laugh out loud. So I tried to write him a song and I gave him the McDonald's card and he was so thankful. Alice, you could write him a song now. That's not like you. 
What about the CDs? Give me a sec. I'm going to take my break. I will call you. And then Azrael replied, but I was asleep this morning and he found my song and I woke up and he was in front of the window sitting in the chair with his legs prompted up smoking his cigar and he was holding all the papers. I had like five sheets and I was like, what you holding? And he was like, what's this? And I said nothing. He said, don't keep stuff from me. If it's nothing, then why you hiding it? I said, it's a secret. He said, you don't think you could share a secret with me? I was like, well, I was writing you a song I could sing to you before I left. And he said, read it to me. And I was so embarrassed. He said, it sounds more personal than a song. And I said, well, it was only for you, that's why. And he was like, I want you to finish it. It sounds like a hit. And I just laughed. So Alice said, are you serious? You like messing with me? Azriel, yeah, I swear on everything. I ain't know what to say. Azriel, I mean, Alice, that's great. I sent you and Stewie's song to your email and you should let him hear it. Maybe y'all can do a duet. Stop sleeping on your skills. He was very young to all his, I don't know what she, she says H-E-V was V-Y-O-U-N-G. I don't know what she was trying to say. To all his songs weren't hits from the beginning. Maybe she's saying that R. Kelly was very young when he first started. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so then the assistant um, text Azrael says, car at 4 p.m. I'm on a flight. If you have issues with the room, please ask for manager Emmanuel Gebramiski. Azrael says, thank you. The assistant says, car service for the mall at 4 p.m. I will buzz when I land. And Azrael replies, thank you. And then the assistant says, in case you need your hotel confirmation number, Azrael Clary confirmation that she gives the number. And I am going to, then Alice says, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Maybe he's serious. So you didn't do the McDonald's allergic stunt you pulled on Mr. Carter yet. So he can see your acting skills. I guess it was divine intervention that y'all met that I got the tickets that you survived and even went to the show and that you were able to get in the front row. God has a plan. Alice, I really, really, really need you to leave God out of this. But let's go back and re-examine this paragraph. She says, I guess it was divine intervention that y'all met, that I got the tickets so somehow Alice had these tickets that they claimed was for her husband's birthday that wasn't for two months out. But somehow Alice got the tickets that Azrael survived whatever her self-harm issue was and even went to the show and that you were able to get in the front row. God has a plan. Mm, mm, mm. And then Azrael replies, thanks and I hope he does. And then she replies to the assistant, um, thank you, were you able to get my luggage or no? And then the assistant replied almost two hours later saying, landing now, I'll be off the plane shortly and I'll check again. And then Azrael replied almost an hour later, all right, well, if the car is here, I'll be leaving my room to go shopping the assistant said, I'm waiting confirmation of the card's arrival. I will text you as soon as I get the information. Azriel said, thank you. And then we're going to stop there. Okay. And I need to mark that. That's where I stopped that. So I'll remember when I pick up again. So guys, what do you think? <laughs> okay. Um, leave your comments below, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.